A local school bus driver's family telling us tonight there's no way he's a rapist. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. That denial after police say 55-year-old Cesar Jimenez raped two women at gunpoint on different occasions. News 3's Antonio Casalon joins us live from the Clark County Jail with the story. Marie, we just received this police report. It says DNA from Jimenez was found on both victims. According to this police report, it goes on to say that Jimenez told police that he enjoyed getting prostitutes. He says on one occasion there was an argument over payment, and that's when one of the prostitutes uh, got upset and claimed sexual assault. Through all of this, the family still defends him. He's a great man. I mean, he's never had any problems with the law. He has no previous record of anything. Pearl Cruz stands by her father, 55-year-old Cesar Jimenez. Police accused the Clark County School District bus driver of sexually assaulting two women near the Arts District in May and August. Investigators say Jimenez drove up to both women, pulled out a gun, forced them in his car, believed to be this one caught on surveillance. The 55-year-old then allegedly drove the victims to another location and sexually assaulted them. When this came out, it's a, she was a shock to everyone. Um, he's, al he's always been hardworking and he's never been in trouble with anything. During the search for the suspect, police released this sketch of the man they were looking for. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Jimenez's mugshot and the sketch. Well, the sketch, well, it looks nothing like him. I mean, it, besides the where it says that he's a Hispanic man, but other than that, the actual picture itself, it looks nothing like him. Uh, the hair, he's almost balding, you know, he, has, he doesn't have that much hair. Police arrested Jimenez last week after pulling him over near his home at Bonanza and Eastern. Cruz says her father is in disbelief over his situation. He's very worried and, like, sad, you know, for us, for having to, like, I guess, go through all this. But we can't really talk to him. The Jimenez family stresses their loved one is innocent. I hope everything resolves and, like, he can, you know, come home and... Everything can be cleared and he can be set free. And Another interesting detail from this police report, both victims told police that they saw a Starbucks cup in the mid-console of Jimenez uh, Kia. When officers went to go check out Jimenez's car, they found a Starbucks cup in the same place that the victims said that they found it. Uh, Jimenez is here at the Clark County Jail with a $100,000 bail facing several kidnapping and sexual assault charges. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Antonio, with the latest on the case, thank you.